One, two, three, four. The drive for five starts now. Well, looking for Para, has it, touchdown, City! Looking over here on the near side, being chased, being pulled down and being sacked by the Cardinals. Roderick to throw rolls, right steps up, floats a pass down the seam, has Keontae wide open, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Web City. 12 state championships in school history. The tradition continues. Now it's our turn. This is our time. Option play left side, pitch play to Potts, has a wide open running room, 10, 5, touchdown, touchdown Web City. Roderick to throw, steps up, floats a pass deep down the middle, overthrown, and it's going to be... Protect this tradition. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we come. Here come the Cardinals. Hi everyone, I'm Brooke Montgomery. Well, it was a showdown of two of the most storied high school football programs in the state of Missouri meeting in Kansas City on Friday night. Web City and Rockhurst have a combined 21 state championships. Too many people say we can't. And we got to show them, it. We got to show them we can. And we got to show them that we will. We are underrated. We got to show them who is house and who is the boss and who is the biggest powerhouse. The Cardinals fall behind 14-0 in the first quarter, but finally get it going. Quarterback Tyson Roderick keeps it, goes inside the Hawkwoods 20-yard line with a 19-yard run. They finish the drive on the first play of the second quarter. Caleb Potts with a one-yard touchdown run that caps a 13-play drive and cuts the deficit to 14-7. to Let's go, boys. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't give up. The offensive and defensive lines for the Cardinals then began to take the game over, dominating on both sides of the ball. Rockhurst quarterback TJ Green tries to answer but was being pressured all night by the Cardinal defense. Colson Crane with the sack and Webb gets the ball back. The Cards get back into the end zone on this play. Tyson Roderick looking for Keontae Harden who makes the catch of the year so far, taking away an interception and turning it into a 37-yard touchdown. An incredible effort by Harden makes the score 14-13. St. Louis, Missouri, November 29, 2013. The Web City Cardinals beat Jeff City Elias 28-14 and in the process secure their fourth football state championship in a row and their state record 12th in school history. Four consecutive state titles. During that span, the Cardinals have a record of 59-1. Hey, good job, good job, right? Way to hit it, way to hit it. Good job, good job, good job, man, good job. The program is led by John Roderick, who owns the highest winning percentage by a high school football coach in our state's history, with a record of 207 wins and 19 losses. This season, his team lost their first regular season game since October of 2003, a span of 91 games. The loss came on September 6th in their second game of the season at Arkansas Class 7A Power, Springdale Harbor. The cards made it close, but were beaten 42-35. Art 
Inspired is a nonprofit organization downtown that provides employment opportunities as well as an earth-friendly environment for individuals with special needs to satisfy their creative abilities. We are um, a almost three-year-old nonprofit that was created to provide employment for adults with special needs. Art Inspired is not limited to just helping adults. They offer a similar experience for special education students from Central. Meet Alyssa, a Central student who has regularly been going to Art Inspired for over a year now. It's like the paper is shredded over the shredder, taken mm -hmm. downstairs, and put in big cement mixers. Oh. And then it's molded into this and it's molded into shape. Do you think Art Inspired has given you a better outlook at yeah, school so and I know, life? I now know what kind of job I should take up after I finish school. What, and what job is that? This job. Being a part of Art Inspired has had a significant impact on those involved. The work environment is a great motivator for them to do good work at school and to do good work here. It's also a precursor for them to be successful in the, the work environment, whether they it's competitive employment, workshop or maybe a work crew when they graduate versus you know them not having any kind of employment when when they do graduate so we're looking at post high school activities for them I am a peer tutor for the special ed class and they're always really excited and they're asking a bunch of times when they're going and whose turn it is they get to go and make stuff and organize clothes and do a lot of practical work that not only you would use on a job but at home even, they just really like it and it's really cool to see. Encouraging you to get involved, this has been Rachel Hake and Tristan Brooks. Very good, looking very, very good. Media Showcase at MSSU was on December 5th, 2013. I really enjoyed the Mass Media Showcase at MSSU. It was a great experience. It was my first one being a junior. Eric from KSN was there and he talked about his career and what led him into journalism. Um, what I like most about my job is probably the people that I work with. Before I started working at the station, I really never, I was always kind of that lone wolf kind of guy. And I quickly realized that that's not, um, possible. You have to be a team. We have each other's backs. Um, so that appreciation for, for the teamwork and the team that I have is probably what I like most. The part I enjoyed most about the media showcase this year was getting honorary mention because that just is recognition for the work I put into the interviews and newscast. I got honorary mention for both my technology newscast and my volleyball newscast. Mass Media, past and present, won many other awards. Alright, our third place winner is Jump by Tanner Riscow. In second place, we have Football by Emily Huey from McCauley Catholic High School. Alex Wallace also earned the prestigious Passion for Video Award. You guys all did an amazing job, so I just want to hear one more time. Give yourselves a all the video entries were really good. I was really impressed with the quality. I was just really impressed with the turnout and how respectful you guys were. You know, they come up to the award awards, they would clap for people who won. It didn't seem like there was any negativity, like no one was upset that they didn't win. It seemed like the whole environment was fun. So I want to thank the students for coming and making it a fun, you know, a positive environment where everyone had fun. And I really look forward to seeing you guys all again next year. This has been Tim Lee reporting for MTV News. At approximately 11.15 this morning, a handgun inadvertently discharged while in the commons area at Central High School. When the gun went off, it kind of sounded like, like a teacher would drop a textbook on a desk to, you know, get the students to pay attention. That kind of like loud crash. There's a lot of confusion and chaos. There wasn't really like an adult around. After the accidental gun discharge on September 5th, some students have criticized how the administration handled the situation. The gun went off um, right before fifth block during the passing period and we were informed at the beginning of Learning Lab around 1.20, which was about two hours later. Safety and security is a top priority and we appreciate your patience as we handle the issue. While most of us would like to have information instantly, and the first priority of school administrators along with law enforcement is to make sure that everyone is safe. So what to students seems like an extremely long time really is a, a period where school administrators are making sure that they have everyone uh, identified in an incident. You walk a fine line 
uh, because you're in a, an investigation mode to determine facts. It, it does take time. Whenever they didn't tell us exactly what happened, that gave a lot of time for people to come up with their own stories, which were just wor worse. So I think it kind of caused a lot of hysteria and a lot of people like not knowing what was going on. For a while, I had no idea if they had apprehended the student or not, so that was kind of scary because I thought we might still have a gunman walking around. Central Intelligence randomly pulled 118 students. 69% of them reported that they had heard inaccurate rumors before the administration made an announcement. Yeah, there was some criticism that wasn't quick enough, and so we've learned from some of that in terms of processing this after the fact, and I think, I think some of that criticism is probably In July of 2014, a mission team from Forest Park and a partner church named Risen Ranch drove out to Colorado for a week of rodeo Bible camp. It is similar to VBSs that Forest Park hosts in the way it draws children by appealing to their likes and interests and then sharing the gospel. However, the interests are very different. Corey Young has a heart for kids and rodeo and uses this passion to run camps like these all over the country. So here we are at a rodeo Bible camp. Um, one of the greatest resources that or tools or experiences that we have is that these camps are drawing in a totally different type of kid. These are not kids that would show up at, at your church's VBS, not kids that would show up at a regular youth camp. These are kids that are ranchy, these are kids that come from farms, and these are kids that love the sport of rodeo. So we use some of the best quality rodeo event instruction to draw these kids in, and man, there is no greater tool than getting them worn down in the arena and then sharing the gospel with them in our chapel services. So again, I think the rodeo Bible camps, the greatest tool the Lord's given us for reaching these country kids. These rodeo Bible camps are used to reach cowboys all across the country. The week is filled with anything that you would see at a normal rodeo. It is exciting to watch the little kids flip goats, then tie them up and practice their riding skills on horses. Seeing teens roping cows while riding and trying their best to hold on tight while they ride bucking broncos and big bulls makes for a very entertaining experience. Le conseguenze del disastro nella centrale. It may seem difficult to believe, but we know more about this nuclear accident than the people living in the Soviet Union. Scott, you On April 26th of 1986, the number 4 RBMK reactor at the nuclear power plant at Chernobyl, Ukraine went out of control during a test at low power, leading to an explosion and fire that demolished the reactor building and released large amounts of radiation into the atmosphere. During the accident itself, 31 people died and long-term effects such as cancer and deformities are still being accounted for. An explosion and fire released large quantities of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, which spread over much of the western USSR and Europe. See it from here. It's hard to see right there from that angle wow. where he is when he goes down. Wow, I am not sure. I'm not sure he got in. I'm not sure he got in either. The Buffaloes come back to beat the Tigers on the last play of the game. Oh That's what I thought. You I know, was saying it's fourth and goal, yeah. and he downed it. I thought, where did I lose a down? Because what he did was he burned, after he got the first down, he stopped the clock right away. So it was second down right, right there. That's then what I thought. And they ran two plays, and then he burned it again. on. So they may have See, run five I, downs. I thought I went brain dead. I thought, there is another play in here that I'm not seeing. I thought. As a little girl at my grandpa's state farm office, I was always perplexed at the peculiar memorabilia. The weird painting of the football players and a down marker that led me to believe there were five downs in college football. 
My whole family is basically Mizzou alums. My dad played football there, my grandpa played the trumpet, my grandma met my grandpa, and my great aunt Betty attended at the age of 65. So being a part of the most controversial call in Mizzou history is nothing short of a big deal when your blood is black and gold. On that fateful day on October 3rd, 1990, Colorado's head coach was Bill McCartney. They had had a very successful 1989 season the year prior, the only loss being to Notre Dame in the Orange Bowl. The 1990 schedule was a tough one, and if he wanted to go back to the Orange Bowl, McCartney needed to have yet another winning season. Up to the Mizzou-Colorado game, the Buffaloes were 3-1-1. One, one. However, Missouri head coach Bob Stoll, hired to Mizzou in 1989 after five straight losing seasons, wanted to bring the football program out of their everlasting slump. He brought in a spread offense and recruited lots of in-state talent. After a 2-2 1990 season and scorching Arizona State the week before, Missouri was ready to show Colorado what they could do. The truth is, I don't care. I just don't. It doesn't matter to me. I don't have an opinion. It's no big deal. Whatever. I care more about Britney Spears' love life, and that's saying something. The truth is, I don't care about your gender. Race. Social status. Wealth. Religion. Ethnicity. Sexuality. It would be a better world if we all just cared a little bit less. Hello, and welcome to Cardinal Stadium. My name is Tony Rossetti. I'm the superintendent of the Webb City R7 School District. I'd like to welcome everyone to Homecoming Game, where the Neosho Wildcats will take on the 2013 Missouri Class 4A defending state champions, our own Webb City Cardinals. Tonight's event should be a great spectacle between the two teams. We also have some wonderful performances uh, from our band, as well as the Redettes, and of course, our cheerleaders. So on behalf of Central Office, the Board of Education, uh, and the community as a whole, welcome to Cardinal Stadium, and go Cards! Do you guys believe that sometimes I think I don't have friends? I know, right? Okay guys, so two men walk into a bar. Oh man, I got a shot the other day, it really hurts. Yeah man, I got my flu shot the other day. Yeah! I think it was a 9mm.
I wanna be a magician and study at break bills. Wander through the hedge maze and cast magic missile spells. Wanna go where the clock trees are ticking in the breeze. Meet the shade of Castle White Spire in the land of Villary. But the seeing hair and the questing beast, like the cozy horse with its coat of velveteen, charged with ember and the trap went to the western sea and to be. The fact of the matter is that Miley Cyrus is the world's premier twerker. She is not the world's premier well, twerker, Evan. She's a self-proclaimed twerker. She okay. thinks she's good. She's really okay. not. Th there okay. are better twerkers. Nicki Minaj, she is a better twerker. Okay, if she's not that great of a twerker, why would they have recruited her for the VMAs? Well, it, I, she was like, okay, she was a Disney star, so like people are going to talk about it. It's like it's like Mickey Mouse twerking on Robin Thicke. It's controversial, man. No, people okay. are going to talk about it. No, there okay. are better twerkers. No, okay, okay. They could have gotten anyone they wanted, but they still got Miley Cyrus. And what's wrong with that? Like I, it's she, they did it because it's controversial, and then I don't know, I don't understand how to get you to like think straight. It's just not like the. What was that? I, I, I don't know, man. Did you hit something? No, I, I was looking at you, man. What, what's this? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I hit something earlier this year. Uh, let's check the back. Oh. God. Oh God, you hit someone. Well, obviously, Evan. Did you see her? Well, no, I didn't see her. You think I would have hit her if I saw? Oh my God, what do we do? Is there a pulse? She's dead. Oh my God, not again. Um, uh, what? what do we do? Uh, then check her collar or something. Zane, she's a person, not a dog. I don't know, Evan. I'm just trying to uh, license, ID, something like that. So we need to find out who this girl is. Just grab it. Just ew, don't touch the blood, man. That's nasty. Uh, no, 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 no. What is that? She didn't have a license, but she had a phone. No, give me it. I've got an idea. What do we do? What do we do? Hold on, hold on. Okay, um, oh she has a Facebook. Okay, okay, check for her name. Okay, check for um, her, name. Oh my her profile God. says Anna Blue. Okay. Uh, she lives at, uh, uh 2211 Whispering Oaks. And, hold on one sec. What are you doing? I I'm sending myself a friend request. What? I I'm just, I don't know, man. Um, should we drag her body out? Uh, what else are we gonna do? I we need to put the body in the car. Uh, let's get it. Uh. Oh. <sighs> She's kind of hot. Zane! I, I don't know, man. Okay. That, oh, God, she's heavy. Uh, okay, I got it, I got it. You get the car door. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, get the door, get the door. The door's locked. The, oh, hold on. Here we go. All right. Okay, okay put, her, put her over. Put her, okay. All right, now move her legs down. Right. Now sit her up in the seat. All right. Let's get out of here. Do you think the police are going to be anywhere near? Or, like, I guess they don't know about leave, it. Uh, leave, leave, leave. Let's just leave. What are you doing? I'm accepting your friend request. Zane? Oh. We can't get pulled over. Okay, okay. I'm just kind of freaked out. I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to distract myself. And plus, it looks like she's asleep anyway. Well, what are we going to do with her? Uh, we need to drop her off somewhere. Where are we going to put her? Uh, we could we could take her to the family video on 7th Street. Why the hell would you uh, I, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to think of places that I would like to go. Um, uh, that's so disrespectful. What about, like, uh, what about her house? We can take her home. We, we'd get caught in a second. Oh, I, I don't really want to meet her parents under those circumstances. Zane! I don't know, man. Uh, okay. What about the... The parking garage on 7th Street. That might actually work. The business okay. hours are over, so okay. nobody's gonna be there. Okay. But uh, but first we have to make okay. a detour. Where? I, I need a Dr. Pepper, it's gonna help calm me down. Okay, we are not stopping for fast food. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Hi, uh, could we have a medium Dr. Pepper and uh, Large you, Coke. Large Coke? Uh, do you think she wants anything? anything else? Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, that'll be good, thank you. This can be 312 as the first one. All right, you sure this is the house? Yeah, I expected it to be creepier, but this is it. All right, well, then this is Old Man Griswold's, I guess. You know, I heard that one time, Timmy from down the street hit a baseball into his yard, and he didn't even give it back. No way. I'm not even kidding. And it's also a neighborhood legend that you can ding-dong ditch his house like, like ten times in a row and he'll never catch on. Doesn't even leave his porch. God. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, who's going to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. No, no, no. Um, nose goes. Oh, God. Ha! <laughs> Hurry up! Yeah, go! Yeah. 
Oh, there he is, there he is. Wow, he's ugly. It's not what I expected. Well, who's up next? Nose goes. Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's make it interesting. I double dog dare you to stay up there and hide. If he catches you, well, I guess we're just going to jet. Challenge accepted. All right. Did he see me? No, he didn't see me. You're good. All right. Your turn, hot shot. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You, you gotta wait till he's like coming to the door. When you All hear right. that, so bolt. when I when I hear him, I'll, I'll leave. Yeah. All right. Well, sounds good. There's no way he won't get caught. He's so stupid and ugly. Was close. That was way too close. All right, should we keep going? Yeah. How many times are we gonna do it? Well, I think the record for most times in a row is like ten, so I think we should beat that. Easy. All right, uh, Grant, you're up again. All right, go for it. Way to go. That was number 10. <laughs> All right. All right, so number 10. We only have one more to beat the record. Man. we got to make it big, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so what should we do? Maybe, like, the other person has to skip back. No. Oh, that's got to be something idea. better. we got to right. go down in neighborhood history for Okay, this. well, what are we going to do? Hmm. What would break, you know, tradition, neighborhood history? Naked. Grant, what's with you and naked? We can't always be naked, Grant. Nate. Nose goes. Wait, what? No, 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 we're not doing naked, okay? Yeah, naked. we are. No, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna go up there naked. Bop, bop, bop. I'm not gonna go up there naked. Uh, I dare you. Actually, I triple dog dare you. You can't take that you back. Can't, you you can't. have to do it now. Oh, okay, you know what? We'll make a deal. We'll do it. You can, you only have to be half naked. Half okay, naked. Okay, I'll take off my shirt. No. no. Full frontal. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it just to prove to you guys that I do it. am He's as man, man as it gets because He's not gonna do it. He's He's not he a expects cheese. us to say stop. Yeah. And no, we're not. I don't yeah, expect that at too. all because I am a man and I am going to do it. And I am going to take off my pants. He's not, not going to do it. There. Okay. Oh, he did it. There. You know what? I can see why he didn't shower in gym class. Now. All right. Is that normal? Hey, it's cold, okay? All right. Okay. I'm going to go. You little what the So I answer the door and guess who's standing there? Your son totally nude, totally nude. No, I'm not daydreaming. He's sitting on my couch butt naked as we speak. What do you intend to do about this?
young. Smart. Content. But it came with a price. What's that? It's a threat. I'm putting together a team. A team of the best of the best. Of the best. Isn't Nick Fury black? Cut! We've been over this. Do the budget cuts. We gotta suspend particular things. I just thought it'd be cheaper than. Take two! Time to suit up. You're not an Avenger. Go spin your web somewhere else. Dang teenagers. So I thought you weren't accepting me. Apparently I'm too wealthy for this kind of team. That's not the reason. So it's not because I'm rich? It's because nobody likes you. So it is because I'm rich. <sighs> Just suit up. Okay. Show me something Yankee. Now, I know the rules here may be a little bit different than Asgard, but just remember, always throw your trash on the ground, we'll be there to clean it up. Clean this up. Put the hammer down! You want me to put this hammer down? You broke my shield. Oh, wait, no, it's... it's okay. Avengers assemble. Hey, where's that hot chick at? Isn't there like a babe in this movie? Budget cuts! Nice. What does this even do? In a world of pure adventure and action, one group stands out, doing what they have to, to survive. So what are we going to do? Blow it up. Always on the run from bad guys. Abby, go faster! I'm trying! Dude, they're coming! What? <gasps> Abby, stop! Stop! No plot line, just explosions. I know you're one of the agents. Have you told the others? No. The trailer around every corner. Coming this summer. I can't believe we lost the others. Well, at least we still have each other. Actually, we don't. 
Be ready for non-stop action. Plot twist! Soggy clothes and breeze blocks. Shitters in your fever, scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send a full stop? Do you know where the waffles go? They go along to take your honey. Way down our we build a breakfast down and say, My love, my love, love, love. La 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 la, muscle to muscle, to toe to toe.
looks real. So what do you want to do now? 